from the beginning, right, the Hunter Biden hard drive story comes out and we quickly find out that they shot this story all over the place, that no one wanted it. Fox News would, didn't want it. That the New York Post was the only place that they could eventually sell it. I mean, very quickly, it sort of looked like, you know, I believe I referred to it on television as a radioactive turd. And the disinformation concerns popped up immediately, right? Um, the, the biggest radioactive turd in this whole thing is Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> because he has been such a clear advocate of these conspiracy theories. He has knows no bounds. He is advocating for Donald Trump and he will do it to the ends of the earth. In December of 2019, Giuliani goes to Ukraine to try to dig up more dirt that he can potentially use on Joe Biden. All they, this like in the middle of the impeachment process. This was like, literally like in, in the, the middle, middle of the In the midst of you guys impeaching Donald Trump, Rudy's still over in, in Ukraine trawling for dirt. Yes, this was in the middle of the Judiciary Committee process. Giuliani meets over there with a guy by the name of Andre Derkoch. Derkoch purportedly gives Giuliani some information. Andre Derkoch is very publicly advocating for this Biden conspiracy conspiracy. Right. Within the last few weeks, the Treasury Department has announced that Andre Derkoch has been a Russian agent for at least a decade, and they have levied sanctions against him. What we're watching in real time, John, is exactly what happened in 2016 happening again. We've learned that national security advisors told Trump that a Russian asset, likely Derkoch, had been targeting Rudy Giuliani to help them interfere in the election on behalf of Donald Trump. Trump, according to the press reports, did nothing right. and has subsequently been advocating for this whole Biden Burisma conspiracy. The allegations against Joe and Hunter Biden have no basis in fact, but that doesn't matter because what they want is to create this veneer of corruption around Hunter Biden that can somehow leak onto the candidate, Joe Biden. That is the disinformation campaign. You've watched a lot of these things unfold. You know, they, they made a bunch of noise about Tony Bobulinski coming forward yesterday. The Wall Street Journal comes out and kind of shuts it down and says, there's no connection to Biden here. But it seems to me that none of it matters in some sense. Now you have Durkash in social media earlier this week coming out and saying, wait a second, there's a second laptop that's gonna be coming out. It's got even more damning, even more incriminating information on it. Over the next 10, 11 days, we're just gonna keep seeing more of these stories, things that are derived from this hard drive or another laptop that's gonna magically appear. There are gonna be other witnesses that magically appear. I think that as the polls continue to trend the way they are, yeah. you are going to see more and more desperation from Donald Trump and his campaign. And for someone like Donald Trump, who has not shown a lot of respect or appreciation for the laws or the rules, he is going to try to burn the house down with him. If he's going down, he's taking everything with him.